Hello and welcome to the second video introducing you to DesignScript. This one is going to cover geometry. So geometry uh, is of course incredibly important to DesignScript as it's a programming language for designers and architects. And when after writing commands in the DesignScript editor window here, geometry will appear in three-dimensional model space in AutoCAD. So to begin using geometry functionality, we have to import the geometry library by typing the command import and then the name of the geometry library, which is called protogeometry. So now that we have protogeometry imported, we can make a point. So the point is a type of object, and we create objects by writing the name of the object, a dot, and then a constructor. Constructors begin with the word by. So here we can select a coordinate by, or select, select the constructor by coordinates, which takes three coordinates, the x, y, and z values of the point. So here we can make a point at one, two, three. Running the script, we can see our point here at position one, two, three. We can make another point similarly. Well, maybe negative five, four. Rerunning the script generates this additional point. These points can be used to construct higher dimensional geometry, such as lines. So here we can create a line similarly by writing the object name line, and then by start point end point, which as you might assume takes two parameters, which are the two points, the start point P and the end point P2. We run this script, we can see a line has been created to join these two points. So we can use, uh, we can similarly use these lines to create surfaces. So I'm going to copy and paste this code into the design script editor for brevity's sake. But essentially what it's doing is creating a series of points which are used to create a series of lines. And these lines are lofted together. In other words, they're interpolated to form a surface. Similarly, we have these constructors that we've previously seen and a surface, which we're going to create by lofting from cross sections from line one, two, and three. So here we can see a wireframe version of the surface. I'll turn this on to conceptual so we can actually see its shaded path. Again, we can see that these three lines have been lofted together to form an actual surface. Surfaces can then be used to construct even higher dimensional geometry, such as solids. So we can say solid to surf dot thicken which takes an actual thickness, say five, and then whether or not this will be padded on both sides. That's true. So thicken takes the surface and kind of thickens it, as you'd imagine, kind of offsets it on both sides and fills in the edges. By running this, we can see now we've created a solid piece of geometry from our points, our lines, and our surface, and finally thickening the surface. This uh, solid geometry can then be intersected with planes or surfaces to then form lower dimensional geometry. So we can create a plane, say, by specifying a point. And a vector. This plane can then be used to intersect with the solid to generate lower dimensional geometry. So if we observe this here, we've now generated a line, this line here, which is the intersection of a plane and a solid. So we've gone from points 
of the lines to a surface, and then a solid, and then drop back down to lines. So that's the end of the introduction for geometry. Thank you for watching.